how did you move up in the corporate world? Because I know you eventually did that and then started basically a side hustle. So yeah. talk to us about that. I had to just to kind of take this inventory that summer. And I remember it being like me just kind of running away from things and just trying to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. But I, I knew that I needed something stable. I needed to have some kind of stable job. I needed to start paying off my student loans because I had been deferring them for over a year. Um, and so that's where the corporate mindset came in. So um, kind of back to the drawing board of applying to different positions. And in Nashville, there was a subsidiary to Harper Collins that is based in Nashville and you know I think just through Indeed and doing some searching and people that I knew I like reached out to apply for a job and it and did you know I I even worked with the film commission with the state of Tennessee for a little while it kind of went through like a couple of years of trying to to navigate and figure out what I wanted to do and then I, I got the corporate gig but I always had this I was never quite satisfied like I I would get done with my work in the corporate, you know, in my cubicle really quickly. And then like on the side, I started working with, because at the time, EDM music started to become a thing. Mm. And I had a friend who was an agent who worked with a lot of DJs. And so I started to do some side hustle publicity, music publicity for these DJs that were going to all of these music festivals. And this is before, I mean, this was back when Ultra Fest in Miami was called Winter Music Conference. Like Mm. it was just, it was right when that whole, world of like the DJ festival stuff started to blow up so I was doing that on the side and then I got into the book PR thing and then I did that for about two years and then like that itch that itch to really go out on my own kind of came back in and so I left HarperCollins and me and another woman that used to work there joined forces and we Mm -hmm. just started basically being freelance publicists and so we started working then HarperCollins hired us. And so we started doing the book campaigns. And I knew that was possible because when I was in house at the publishing house, you know, I was the one hiring these publicists. And I was, I was like, mm. oh my gosh, they're making like five, six, seven grand a month. Like, and I'm sitting in this cubicle, like, and they have freedom and they don't have to like wear this Ann Taylor suit and come into this office. <laughs> like, you know, I just, I kept seeing what was possible. And I think that even if I didn't, truly have the confidence to even know what that was at the time if it was possible for them I knew it had to be possible for me because it's possible for other other people so that that gave me the courage to just kind of like roll the dice again and be like I quit I'm going out on my own and then and then that's what that was kind of the, the corporate gift and then what brought me into doing my own freelance work. 